the Ostrava meet that's taking place tomorrow featuring Joshua Cheptegei, another NN running athlete. It's being billed as a world record attempt in the 3K, which would make three world records for Cheptegei after breaking the 5,000 and the 10,000 last year. 720 is the mark to beat. 720 from Daniel Komen. One of uh, one of the older records remaining. Obviously, the 3K isn't run that often, but 7:20 holds up. It's roughly equivalent to what Cheptegei ran um, for the for the 5,000. If you look at the World Athletics scoring tables, his 10K actually is a little bit above that, a little bit better. But back to back 340s, Gordon. There's a bunch of different ways to explain this. A bunch of different ways to break it down. It's insanely fast. What do you think about his chances? Well, the first thing to think about, if he does pull it off, he will have broken three world records in under a year, right? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Um, maybe that's why he's thinking this. He's like, hey, I could say I was the great. It's the basically the greatest 365 days of all time. Has anyone ever broken three world record world rec track records in one uh, year, not counting the roads? It would be insane. But I like the way the way you visualized it. It's back to back 340s, right? Back to back 340, 1500s. It sounds crazy, but when I watched him run that 1235 and he was just clicking off 60s, mm-hmm. just like, like a metronome, you have to think that he can just click them off again. I don't know. I just have this, he has such a. A metronome person, metronome uh, running pace in his mind now because of he's been able to do the 10k because it requires a lot of concentration and a lot of focus of like all right I gotta get through these 25 laps and the first 20 mm-hmm. need to be perfect in order to get to the the end and same thing with the 5k the first eight laps need to be perfect so I'm in position to get to the end and I think in this situation he's gonna be like all right I need to make sure my first five laps are perfect so I can get there to the end. And I think he will go out and he'll do 59, 59, 59. He'll do, I think he'll do like four straight 59s to put yeah. himself in position. So go out in a 356 and then see what happens. <laughs> Man, it's just weird when you say it like that. Go out in a 356 and then see what happens. If you look at the all-time list, obviously Coleman up there, a cut above everybody else with multiple seconds. But then if you scroll down the all-time list, right, you got some big names like El Garouge, Gabriel Selassie, uh, and then you freeze right there. Yep, Ilya Kipchoge there at number 14. But look at number 17. Look who number 17 is. Stuart McSwain of Australia. He is rabbiting this race. So Chapter Guy is getting the 17th best person in history in the event to serve as his pacemaker. It lets you know that he's not there to screw around. It lets you know that he's not there. This is not a rust buster. I don't even know if Joshua Chepty guy has any rust ever to bust. And you looked at, even last year, you look at his races leading into the, the world record, the 5K. He wasn't racing a ton. Now that was because of the pandemic. But it's not even as if he he tuned up with the with the 1500 or anything like that. This year, the only thing he's run is, is a 337-1500 at altitude. Yeah, this is last year. Look at that. He ran the... 5K world record on August 14th. Prior to that, he had run that 5K on the road in Monaco in February. This year, all he's run is a 337, which it was at altitude, but he's going to he's gonna need to run 340 pace this year. So he can only slow down by, by a couple seconds. I'm not going to count him out just because last year, I think I did a little too much because I just thought, hey, this is audacious. If you run 1235, you can run 720, not outside the realm of possibilities. I think as the distance gets shorter, though, gets a little bit farther out of his wheelhouse, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But they wouldn't have McSwain there if they weren't serious. I think you're right. I think they're going to go out at, at 59 and see what happens. The year Coleman ran 720, his... Mm-hmm. uh. PB before that his 5k PB was 1245 
So Chapter guy, clearly faster than 1245. The one thing, though, that Coleman did do, though, is his 3K when he ran 720, it was his 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eighth 3K. Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It was actually a sixth 3K of the season. Mm -hmm. He ran it in September. So he ran it at the end of a full season. It was an off year. There was no world championships that year. Yeah. He had basically run a bunch of races. He ran it September 1st. So he had been doing 3Ks and 5Ks and 1500s. So he was definitely, it wasn't like, it wasn't a May race the way Sheptikai is going at it. And I did notice when Sheptikai did break the 5K world record, when we look back at the previous world record, it, it didn't come linear. It came exponential. Like you just have that big pop where that's when you yeah. do it. You know, not everyone just breaks. Five seconds and five, then five. They have that big jump. In this situation, he had run 725 twice, and then he had that big jump to 720. So yeah. history says it's going to be hard to do, go do a big leap like this in your first 3K of the season. Your legs not be might not be ready for like, hey, these for these 350 not for these 356 opening 1600. But hey. He's two for two on world records attempts. So there's really no okay. reason to think that he can't go three for three. Am I right? I mean, yeah. look at this. I mean, you look at this. He's We watched this world record live with Paul Chalimo, who's going to be in this race. We'll talk about him later. But mm -hmm. the guy was just like, it's something crazy about this end end running group, man. the guy breaking these world records. Chipcote, Kip Chogi, just having mm -hmm. that smooth stride in the marathon. They are just like on another level, and I think I think he's not going to break it, but I wouldn't be surprised if he does. I think he might end up running like seven twenty three, which is still incredible. Yeah, um, well, that would put him ahead but, of on that list. Yeah. That would put him right there, number two all time, and it would be ahead of people like Gabriel Salasi, Garouge, and and Kipchoge. And Coleman's run was an outlier even by like an outlier's perspective and Coleman, if you don't know people watching, if you don't know, check out Daniel Coleman's career. It's pretty crazy. He never made an Olympic team and had a, a short, but spectacular career and put up some just insane performances. You know, he broke eight in the two mile he's got, he was, it seemed like he was built for that distance. Um, tough to tell because obviously he didn't run at the Olympics he ran at the world championships and did well there too, but his, his career was, was, was not that long, but he hit some of the highest highs. Yeah. I can see like a seven twenty two for chapter guy. You could probably talk me into that being the, the over under, 